I wouldn't mind if you guys would clear out all these logs, well not these logs, these stones and iron in the area. We'll get there. We've just had an explosion of kids born. Very nice, four more kids. I'm guessing down here is going to have a couple. Yeah, you've got one. You've got one. How are we going up here? You're probably... The fisherman is past childbearing age. Uh, yeah, you're probably past that as well. Your student child is of... Uh, is old enough to be going out on their own. Oh, you've just had a kid. 50-year-old bloke, 36-year-old. You just probably put the last kid that they'll be having. And same for you. And we've... Oh, you've got to be kidding. Our hunter just died. Holy deaths! The teacher's getting on as well. Is there anyone else left? Seriously old age. Maybe you, but your health is not too bad. So you should last for some time. Alright, we're coming out of winter. That's good, because we... Oh! Seriously? Health is good! Seriously, stop dying! They're only living to their 60s. We've got no students. No students because we had no active school. What a teacher again, so... Some of those kids, some of those kids will become students again. Most of them just became adults and will be uneducated. That's not good. Why didn't you swap jobs with somebody else if you knew that was going to happen? Right, so, yeah, we've got five labourers now. Say... So, have to look at this one here. Educated? No. And they're not going to go get educated. That's it. It's too late for them. Because the teacher died and nobody replaced them, we ended up with a bunch of labourers instead. Alright, fisherman. Top you. Forester. Let's get a look. Uh, we're not doing too bad for wood, actually. You never have enough. I would definitely like the quarry built. And a little bit more iron, and it can be built. But w with all these deaths, our guys are going to get very unhappy. So we need that cemetery built, guys. Come on. Come on, get it done. Another child born. Halis. So that happened a little bit ago. I've only just noticed it, though. What are you doing? Just off to get some wood, will you? Your health's not fantastic, but everything else is good. So we've got 98 medicine stored at the moment. Oh, look at this! Trader just came in. Excellent. So let's have a little look at it. If we look on the trade, we'll see that they sell pear seeds. Warm coats and steel tools. We're currently using iron tools, so steel's obviously a little bit better. But iron does the job. To make steel tools you need... You also need coal. Warm coats. We've got hide coats, so warm coats would be much better. But we're not going to. We're not going to use warm coats. We don't want warm coats. No. You do accept different food, so... I'm running low on fish, actually. My food is going down. Alright, I want you to go and get me a little bit more venison. Another thousand. Thank you. Because we are going to need it. We're going to need it because I want that pear seed. Now you can see that the account, there's one. They've got one of them. Duh. Pear seeds, they sell for 2500 Very expensive. 
as is if I put everything I've got together. Actually, venison sells for three, so... I may actually have enough already here for it. Another 20... Right, we're going to get another 40. So let's muck around with the numbers a little bit. Another 10 needed. Now let's just whack a few fish in there. And you can see we're overpaying by 2,500 if I'd done the trade now. Obviously I can't, but if I was to do the trade now I'd be giving them a lot for nothing. There we go. Look at this. We're going to get ourselves some pear seeds. I have never been lucky enough to have pears. So we're going to hit trade. And that's just happened. We now have ourselves pears. Or we can plant pears. Now if we have a look over at, say, the order, you'll see that this person here can get quite a few different seeds. You can place an order for different items, say bring apples next time, would you? Say bring some iron as well, some fish, no we don't want any of that kind of stuff. We could tell him next time that we want some kind of other seed. Um, actually something like wheat. Wheat seeds, I might be able to make a bit of beer. Yeah, let, let's do that. So we'll do it just for the, the sake of it. Just once, bring me some wheat seeds, yep. So next time they're going to bring wheat seeds. If they don't have anything that you want to trade, let's change that back down to a thousand. If they don't have anything that you want to trade, you can just dismiss them, send them on the way. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let him just hang out. He can sit in the town, in the town tavern, sort of, and enjoy himself a nice um, future beer. Yeah. All right. So what we can do now is go to the orchard and decide which one we want to have pears. Right here you can see select the type of fruit. It's the same for your animals. It's the same for your crop fields. They all work the same. Click here and we want it to be pear. You can have it working or not working. We obviously will want it working. Now I haven't made, I haven't played around with the fruit trees all that much. But you can tell them to cut down or harvest, etc. We need to get somebody set up as... Where are we? Trader, Millister, Teacher, Physician, Vendor, Tailor, No, Builder, Farmer, Herdsman, Gatherer, Fisherman, Hunter, Woodcar Woodcutter, Forester, Herbalist. Uh, who do we put in there? Farmer, maybe? Not too sure. There you go, farmer. Alright. Look at uh, you. Out of the way. Okay, you're working. You are currently working. Very good, that's what we want to see. We can't actually tell to do anything else, though, obviously. We've got nothing there for it to do. But they're going to go and start planting the seeds. Now there was only the one seed we brought. That's okay. It's more than enough, believe me. Alright, we planted the one seed. Do we want to cut that down? Nah, of course not. Of course not. So, yeah, he's going to go right the way along and plant them right the way along. It's one seed. It's, it's basically you only need to buy it once and you can use it as often and as much as you want. Like over here we can plant seed or pear seeds yet again if we wanted to. We're not going to. We could cut all these down. We're not going to. <laughs> we're going to wait and we're going to harvest the things. But that's excellent. We've now got a new type of fruit cut. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. We've got a new type of fruit coming in. So, very good. I think I'm going to put a little bit of medicine in here as well, some herbs. Uh, we're going to put 50. That's good. We are low on fish. Hmm. Doing alright for wood at the moment. 
Might be an idea to just swap one of those foresters over for fishermen. See our food. I mean, yeah, granted, I did just go and dump a bunch of a bunch of my venison to be traded. Hmm. How are we going? No, we're doing all right. Ah. Sorry about that. Just had to stop for a coughing fit. Been talking too much. Not sure if you could tell, but I was holding it in for quite some time just then. Um, so what are we doing? I don't know. Walking around making sure everything's working, I guess. Oh, we got our first student back. Jacqueline. Alright, so yeah, food. I wouldn't mind a little bit more food coming in. Uh, there was something over here, the well. You know what? Let's, let's get our guys building it. Oh, we don't need it, but... I don't see why we can't build it. Ah, a nice drink. My throat needed that. <laughs> we have run out of iron, but we've got... Uh, no, we've also run out of leather. Hmm. Plenty of wood for you to keep working. So, keep working. Eventually we will probably need a second woodcutter. One is more than enough for... We got 39 people though. One herbalist is also more than enough, but we can eventually put another herbalist in here if need be. And Forrester was just planting by the look of it. We're going to need quite a few more houses too. We can start upgrading the houses. I'm going to probably hold off on that. An upgraded house from wooden to stone, that will... it. All it does is, it means that they need less firewood. They won't go through the firewood as much, because a stone house is a little bit warmer. So it is good to have stone over the wooden houses, but they are quite a bit more expensive. You can upgrade, so yeah, it doesn't hurt to just start at wooden house. Right here you can upgrade. <clears throat> to upgrade we'd need 24 more wood, 40 more stone, and 10 iron. So we're a little bit of a distance off that. What are you? You are a labourer and you are actually digging up some iron over here. And we do need iron, so that's not a problem. I would rather you dig up the stone because we do need stone as well. A little bit more stone for a couple of the houses. That'd be nice. Oh, we have gone through labourers. They have changed a little bit, so we may end up having to go through and making this a priority again. There we go. Uh, oh, my trader is still there. Let's dismiss him. We don't don't need you anymore. Off you go. You can follow them right the way to the end if you really wanted to. Wow, you've got a decent trip ahead of you. Oh my. It circles right the way around. What on earth are you doing down here? You're going to starve if you don't get back. You're about to die. You're a three, three year old. Really? Wow. You're not too far away. What, really? What? Well, we may lose a kid right now. They don't get back in time. They are absolutely starving. You can see from the little starving icon up the top there. Despite having as much food as we do, we do have people going hungry. 16% oh, <coughs> there. 44% there. Venison is still growing. Fish though... Yeah, we've got fish, but... Not as much as I'd like. I always like to have a surplus, a major surplus, serious surplus. With this here, whilst they've, they've got nothing to do, they will be a labourer, of course. This little paddock here is where your livestock will end up. So you do get to see the items you buy end up right here before they take them places. The livestock, we've just had another student, have we? No, no, that's an old one, it's late spring. 
the livestock's a little bit funny, it'll just wander out and go over to the panic. Oh! Nice! So we've got our trees coming through. So you can harvest immediately. Uh, that's not going to do much. It's going to do pretty much nothing at the present. Let's wait and see how we go growing them completely. So the enable or disable automatic harvesting at this location is all we're going to do, and that's going to that's going to do the job perfectly well. You got to wait until you get your yield up to 100% anyway. It's the way the farms will work. Once it gets to 100%, they'll start harvesting it down. And if you don't harvest them all before winter comes, it is a waste. What isn't harvested will just end up dying. Which is a reason why you'd use a small field over a larger field. Once you have a, a few people working the single field, a larger field is much better, obviously. Yeah, we've got another student. Excellent. Yay. You go, Haraki. Okay, Haraki. Yeah, sure. But to begin with, when you're only going to have the one farmer, which is chances are is what's going to happen, it does pay to have a slightly smaller field. I'll take less time planting and more time gathering. Alright. A bit of stone just collected up. <coughs> ah, what was I saying? Just before I was rudely interrupted by my own coughing fit. I don't know what it is about this game, but whenever I start playing it, I start coughing. Uh, yeah, a little bit of stone just collected over here. It was collected by our forester. Which is perfectly fine. Except it does mean it's taking away from her job to collect wood, which is what we want her for. So we have collected a fair bit of iron and stone over the last couple of years. And we've just collected a little bit more. Ah, oh, the labourer has collected at that time, so that's perfectly fine. It's not a good thing to have you guys to have your guys collecting materials that they're not meant to be collecting though. Just having them play around with the rocks and that every so often, you will get one of them crushed by a rock and obviously that's not a good thing. Okay, but we do want it cleared out. A lot of people will also say don't have them planting and cutting. Have them either planting or cutting. I generally just leave it as is. If I was to have it as don't plant, they'd go through and they'd just clear the entire area. And you would get a massive big massive big influx of logs. So that's the reason for doing it. But eventually you've got a plant anyway. The trees do grow back themselves. But they grow back a lot faster if you, you plant them yourself. Alright, fighting the cough yet again, and it looks like our quarry is being built. Okay, so we don't... we need a quarry, but we don't really have the manpower to man it. <coughs> oh, oh, the coughing fit. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to have to sit back and stop playing for a, a while. We'll just finish off the quarry first, and then I think I'm going to call it quits for the time being. I've been playing for about an hour. So I'm not doing too bad. I've just upped the speed to five times. I completely forgot to change it to five times. We're going to get the quarry built. I'll have a quick little show of how that works. I would, of course, have preferred it be the cemetery. We do have people working over here. There's some stone delivered just then. And then they're going... a trader is going to... knock on a stone. Alright, you got a bit of stone you... you collected, or...? Well, I guess they collected it. There's somebody else there collecting some stone too. Oh, it's very good. Oh, look at them go. Very good. We've got a quarry over there that is built pretty much as we speak, yet you're over here collecting stone. That's not a problem. We can live with that. Two builders have just built the quarry. Okay, now the quarry. Obviously we need people working in there, and as you can see, it takes 15 people. 
you can have less than that. <coughs> you can have one. It doesn't really matter how many. Obviously, the more you have in there, the faster you're going to mine the stone. These quarries also have a limit on how much material can be taken out of them. You can see it's 100% remaining. They last quite a while, so that's really not... Yeah, it's not a threat for us. It's going to take quite a lot of gameplay before that is finished off. And we probably should put in a house or two over here for these guys. So I'm going to try to do that. Or not. Uh, come on. Anywhere that I can put a house. No, no. Uh, unfortunately, the road's kind of in the way there. Alright. No, definitely not there. I might be able to... to get it in here, though. Oh, so close to getting one there. Can we, we could flip it around here. I don't want to go too far this way because it's kind of using up area that we could have all this here gathering. <coughs> but we'll have these two houses also being built because, yeah, we're going to need them for for anyone that ends up working in the quarry. I'm not going to man it though just yet, not until we get a few more labourers to whack in there. Would be nice, but yeah, we're going to have to leave that. Um, I don't know, maybe next time we start playing. A little bit more stone to go into the cemetery and we'll have that built as well. Now the cemetery... What are you collecting a little bit more stone. Oh, that's very good. It's a little annoying that they have to collect the stone from here, carry it all the way back over here, put it in the pile, and then somebody else comes along and picks it up and walks it all the way back over here and puts it back in. I wouldn't mind a little bit more streamlined in the game, but I guess, yeah, beggars can't be choosers. It's working as intended, I guess. But I'm probably going to have to leave it there. My throat is not liking me too much right now. It seems to want to cough like crazy. We, we are getting a little bit more food, not much more. Got about 200 more than what we did have when we made the big trade. We are low on stone, who'd have thought? <clears throat> yeah, maybe we should get a quarry going. Uh, venison, yeah, we still got plenty of you, that's good. We're always going to have venison, it would seem, as long as we've got people working over here. Not too sure how we managed to get so much in that first sort of year. But, yeah, we're not doing too poorly for the time being. We've also just had a fisher -il. a child born. I'm probably going to try to make you a fisherman, just for the name. We've got a lot of little saplings over here growing. Man, you guys have just gone through and decimated the trees in the area. To be fair, there wasn't many in the area to begin with. It wasn't a very heavily uh, a heavily forested area. What is, what is this? Production limit for this resource has been reached. Really? Wow, I have a limit of 200 on logs? I think not. can never have enough logs. Here we go. You can always have enough firewood, you can never have enough logs. We've got enough clothes, very good. And we're probably going to have a little bit over here too, we've got 50. Yeah, I'm going to up that. I think I will. Uh, herbs, we're low on herbs surprisingly, I usually have too much of that coming in. I guess that just shows that it can always, or it is always different. Every game you play, every map, at different resource, well, the availability of the resources varies. So on other games I've played, I've had so much fish coming in with just the one wharf, I just could not keep up with it. The, on other ones, yeah, it's medicine. You always have too much medicine. This time around, it seems that clothes I'm having in excess in venison, which is new for me, but anyway. Gonna leave it there. 
Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'm obviously going to split this into probably three episodes. If you still want to keep seeing me play this game, just hit leave a like, a subscribe if you're not already, and definitely a comment. It helps massively. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.